Let's go down to Rome's. Your Minnesota Fine Vikings are looking for their quarterback of the future. And, man, I'm not going to lie. So the edits that that people do nowadays are fantastic. This is from uh, Magnus over on Instagram. So uh, Michael Penix Jr. looking pretty damn good in that number nine, man. And, yes, he is left-handed. Yes, there is injury concerns. And, yes, blah, 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 blah. But uh, the Vikings are perfectly set up to find their QB of the future, whether moving on up to the east side, finally got a piece of the pie, or sticking and picking. And Penix is a name you know that a lot of people, myself included, have bandied about. Like, hey, if you can't trade up into the stratosphere, grabbing Penix at 23, maybe that could make sense. Or may have to take him at 11. Don't know, man. D don't know. And for me, uh, our quarterback rankings have been pretty pretty stable uh, since uh, the draft season began. And I have Penix at five, you know, behind the big four, as it were. Mainly it's because of all, all the health issues. But I feel like that you can explain away some of it, j just some of it. And w with Penix uh, starting his career in Indiana, back in the day, you saw all the potential in the world, uh, big time arm, big time athleticism, and then transferred to Washington, put up huge numbers, got the, the Huskies to the national title game this year against Michigan. And, you know, people are going to poo poo and downgrade what Penix did in Washington back to back 4,000 yard seasons, uh, 36 touchdowns, 11 picks last year, 157.1 quarterback rating, which is good mm. uh and all but that's on the college scale but you know what i mean uh but Penix, yes people will poo poo uh what he did in the national title game against michigan uh by the way did you see the entire washington team against michigan mm, nah nah uh but yeah Penix did not have a good time plus he got dinged up in that game to a degree and that's always a concern uh, with michael Penix jr but people forget what he did in the semifinals against texas which is a damn good defense top 10 nationally last year Penix shredded him Shredded him. 29 of 38 for 432 touchdowns, 97.7 quarter uh, QBR out of 100, which is which is good. It's pretty damn good. So him slicing and dicing, one of the best defenses in the country on national television. Uh, yeah, I feel like that should have a little bit of bearing against what happened against Michigan. And this week when Kevin O'Connell at the owners' meetings was asked to – Oh, he, he was ambushed by by Pat McAfee when Kevin O'Connell was talking about, uh, I want a quarterback with accuracy. Oh, you mean like Penix? And then O'Connell like, with accuracy. I, I think he knows. I, I think he knows. I think the Vikings have done just a smidgen of homework on, on Michael Penix Jr. And uh, Penix had his pro day on Thursday, and uh, Josh McCown was not in attendance because he was at North Carolina. Come on to raise up with uh, Drake May. But Penix put on a show in Seattle, man. Like, everyone was sleepless after that uh, pro day. So, he answered all the haters and the losers because basically like people looked at Penix at Washington as like, Hey, is he a statue in the pocket? He is he unathletic. He only ran for eight yards uh, for the Huskies in 2023. Uh, it's because he wants to throw from the pocket because he wants to be a quarterback first, but uh, he ran anywhere from a four, four, six to a four, five, six, somewhere in there, you know, a lot, a lot of hand time. Uh, numbers in there but either way he's fast as well as 36 and a half inch vert 10 foot five uh five inch broad jump uh which also is pretty damn good especially considering that he had two acl uh, surgeries uh during his time in indiana so i i, I would say he's, he's fine i would say he's, he's fine and with Penix, you can't ignore the injury history, right? So ACL in 2018, ACL in 2020. Also, uh, he had a oh, he broke his collarbone in 2019. And then 2021, uh, he separated his shoulder. So all of that can't be ignored. But also, you, you do have to factor in his last major injury uh, was in 2021 uh, at Indiana. And, and Penix, during his two years in Washington, stayed uh, avoided major injuries, stayed healthy, and put up some mind-blowing numbers. And yes, I, I think that there is a... I think there is a anti West Coast bias when, when it comes to the Heisman, not taking anything away from Jaden Daniels. And Penix did finish second, but I think that it should have been a lot closer. Uh, what Penix did, especially in close games, I mean, Washington, I mean, the Huskies, pardon the pun, were in a lot of dogfights uh, last season, and Washington always came out on top except for the Michigan game. But uh, but a big part of it was Penix Jr.'s heroics in late games. Also, he went 2-0 and against Oregon, and Bo Nix putting up those huge numbers, uh, so you can't really sleep on that. But uh, Pro Day, you know, like we said, did answer a lot of questions. And after his Pro Day, you know, J Jordan Schultz of Bleach Report relayed this. An NFL coach just texted about Michael Penix Jr. Freak show, dude runs a 4-5 and then jumps 37 inches. Arm strength is crazy in person. Locked in first rounder. I wonder who the coach is. Is it Zim? 
it might be Zim. I don't know, man. But uh, takeaways from Penix's pro day. So uh, answer the speed athleticism questions. You can definitely put that one to bed. Also, the fact that he tested uh, shows his competitiveness, and he even said that. Where not a lot of uh, the Tier 1 quarterbacks tested this season, but uh, his – uh, his his 40, his his vert, his broad jump would, would have been numero uno uh, at, at the combine. I uh, hit on 57 of 60 throws, and he was sharp out of the gates. Where you know with Daniels and May, you know it took a little while for them to warm up, and then they got into a groove. But uh, Penix was dropping piss missiles all over the place, and especially, yeah, you know, everyone knows that Penix has great arm talent. And taking away like Joe Milton the third's like 90 yard sort of like freak show dimes, uh, but Penix Jr. In terms of deep ball accuracy, the velocity, the placement, and the control that he has, he can drop it in the bucket, man. Uh, he, it's absolutely impressive what he can do. Also, uh, in my opinion, he showed a lot more touch on underneath throws where Penix, you know, Pe- Penix did, uh, especially in the Michigan game after he got rattled a little bit, like he was just dropping fastballs. And that, that is a concern. But uh, underneath touch passes, it, he did show you know quite a bit more touch. I, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, improved technique and footwork as well as well, no, there, there's no defense out there. But uh, if Penix does become a Viking in Kevin O'Connell's offense, he is going to be asked to throw uh, some touch passes over the middle. Uh, and he did show a lot more uh, of that on Thursday. Uh, and he wants to win from the pocket. That's exactly what he said. Uh, I think that he has shown good uh, pocket movement throughout his two years at Washington. Uh, showed some good footwork, of course. You know, there is no pass rush. There's no offensive lineman at the pro day. But uh, I think that as a last resort, he can take off and run. Uh, but he wants to be that distributor first and foremost. Also, the swagger and confidence is fantastic. You know, talking about how he wants wanted to come out and compete, how he wanted to be there for his teammates and help. Uh, Roma Dunze didn't uh, participate in the pro day, but helping out McMillan and Polk uh, as well as his other teammates. And also, uh, he was just really comfortable, man. They had they had the music pumped up. And it was putting on a show, and like he he knows, like yeah, you love the confidence and. He's a guy that, yes, he is a little bit older of a prospect, and yes, he's a guy whose career could have been derailed several times by a major injury, but still standing, still strong. Two great years at Washington, uh, made it to the national title game, first time that Washington's done that since the 90s. So, yeah, re- really, really, really impressive. And, of course, the comp is Southpaw Sam Bradford, which um, you know, given the injury history with Bradford when he was coming out of Oklahoma, yes, as well as Sam Bradford when he was healthy, again, when he was healthy, that's a major thing. But he threw some of the, the prettiest balls that you've ever seen. And Penix ha- ha- dropped some great balls as well. So maybe this is in the offing. Who really knows? Because uh, if you look at the, the draft, so say the Vikings get frozen out of the big four. It is what it is. And you look at, all right, so say the Vikings go a different direction uh, than Penix at 11. There's a lot of teams in between 11 and 23 that could go uh, with Michael Penix Jr. And this could be a five quarterback draft in the first round. Uh, so say that uh, Williams at one to the Bears. We'll say the Daniels two to the Commies or J.J. McCarthy. Uh, Drake May to the Patriots and J.J. McCarthy to, I don't know, the, the, the Giants at six. Sure, we'll do that. But uh, the Broncos definitely could be in play for Penix. The Raiders, yes. The the Saints probably, uh, the the Seahawks maybe. Even though they traded for Sam uh, Howell, uh, the local kid would uh, be a great story for them uh, as a start over with Mike McDonald, uh, Jaguar, Jaguars, maybe. Uh, Rams, yes, uh, Steelers obviously, uh, as well as Dolphins, maybe, maybe if they don't want to pay to him, who knows? But uh, like I said, if the Vikings are impressed with Penix and they see him as a first round candidate. I mean, they may not have the luxury of waiting to 23. They may have to just take him at 11, which frankly, if Kevin O'Connell and company determine that he is the guy and somewhere, some way, Kevin O'Connell is smiling, go get him, go get him, man. But I, uh, I think of all the quarterbacks, I think Penix answered the most questions uh, at, at his pro day and not just not just uh, yeah, with his arm, because everyone knew that he had a big-time arm, but uh, the athleticism showing that the knees were healthy as well, uh, I think that's uh, a major part of it. And plus, I just love the the confidence. I, I love Michael Penix Jr.'s swagger, man. Mm. Uh, but that's it. Uh, reaction to Michael Penix Jr.'s Pro Day. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. You, you guys know what to do. It's Friday, Friday. Put a little something in the Venmo, but just next time, Skull Production Value.